Hola mga kapatid! Happy afternoon sa inyo ko po si MJ Marforia at itong Newsroom 5. Live na live na live na live niyo po na mapanood sa News 5 Features Facebook page, News 5 Facebook page at www.news5.com.ph At kung hindi pa kayo kontento dyan, may YouTube tayo ang hashtag Newsroom 5 Live and Instagram account kung saan makikita nyo natin ang BTS natin ng News 5 Features. So do follow that. Ako po yung handle ko, MJ Marfori. At ngayong hapon na ito, napakabigatin po ng ating guest. She just flew in from New York City ang Pinay Pride. Si Amba, Amba Gutierrez, of Hi. course. Thank you so much. Victoria's Secret model siya, mga kapatid. FYI. And we see here in the pages of the magazines all over the world. So thank you so much, girl, for coming thank over. Thank you for having me. Yeah, what brings you here in the Philippines right now? I miss the, the Philippines. It was one year that I couldn't come, so I needed to see my friends, my family, and of course, visit the country because I like it. But it's just now you did press. Yes. Why? Um, I mean, I wanted to have my voice out because yes, especially I after all the controversial yes. stuff happening, um, I couldn't work, uh, talk, I couldn't like really express myself mm -hmm. and right now I'm doing it because I want to tell my story and try to inspire others. Okay, before we get into that, pag-usapan lang din natin sa kanya yung konting backtrack lang ng pagiging modelo niya sa New York City. Kasi isa ka rin sa mga Pinay Pride bukod kay Janine Togonon, Kelsey Merritt, Shanina Gutierrez. Good cares, tama ba? Yes. Isa pa ba ina, ano natin, ano, napambato natin sa Victoria's Secret? Ikaw rin ay kasali doon. Let's talk about your journey of modeling in New York. How did you start? And were you always based in the States? No, I started in Italy, in Milan. Then from there, I moved to London. I traveled a little bit to Paris. I then moved to the States. I started to like, you know, get the visas so that I couldn't work there. And then I, I, yeah, I stopped in New York because I feel that. You know, yon. Yeah, that's like where I feel more challenged, and I like challenge. So. Grabe yung challenge don, yes. girl. At narinig ko na hirapan ka raw talaga sa Victoria's Secret casting. It's really hard. It's a rigid process, tama ba, to get in and be cast? Yeah, let's say that they choose few models, like what happened with me, they chose about 15 models in my agency and they, uh, they came to there and they had the casting and, and then I passed it and well, that day was around May and, and didn't hurt anything anymore. And then after two months that I was in Italy visiting my mom, I received an email from my agency saying that they chose me to shoot for them. Nice! And it came out of nowhere. I was super happy. I just arrived in Italy since like three days and then I just flew back. <laughs> how old are you, Ambra, now? And how old did you start modeling? I'm 25. I started... Baguette! Ish! Five, oh, major. five years ago that I finished my study in Italy. I graduated. You graduated in college? Uh, it's, it's more uh, high school, but it's like... Um, a diploma that makes mm -hmm. you work into something. Yes, it's yes, yes, true. yes. I yes. know if you know surveying. What yes, it is, it's it's in that. Uh huh. So, and then, if you weren't a model, what you what would you be doing right now? Well, for what I study, I could be an architecture soon nice. if I continue. But um, something I really love to do is um, working with charities. So maybe have my foundation and trying to like. That is so nice, actually. Like a lot of Filipinos would say, why wouldn't you join a pageant, right? Oh, but but modeling is a totally different animal than that of joining a beauty pageant. But did it ever cro cross your mind? Um, let's say that um, it, it's, it's very hard, like the pageant parts, because I feel that they are doing a lot of work. They have to like control um, everything they do and everything like, you know, they have to say and things like that. And I feel that my personality is a little bit too um, different from, mm -hmm. you know, doing that. And I need more freedom. <laughs> and but five years ago, what that was the time you started modeling. Na discover ka ba? I, yeah, I was in Milan, let's say. And I remember that the day that I wanted to, like, go check agencies, there was a booker from Elite that stopped me wow. on the street. <laughs> And it was like even like one hour before I had meetings, 
And she's like, I'm meant to be. Yeah, you felt like that. And I was happy, I mean, like that someone would recognize that I could model because it's something I wanted to do. You said you go back and forth here and in the Philippines. How in touch are you with our roots? Because you didn't understand me, right? It's like you went to Italy, New York, and you didn't really get to come here. But you didn't really get to come here. You didn't really get to come here. Yeah, my mom is Filipina. Okay. My dad is Italian, but I grew up with a single mom. So she... Yeah, na alam mo na pag single mom na pinay, de ba? Yes, yes, very super Filipino household. Yeah, very Filipino, but you know, like independent. Independent. Yes, pero dito sabi mo every year kayo pumunta rito. I came here about like the first time when I was very young, so I don't remember much. But then I I came back around 2015 with my brother. And uh, yeah, I fell in love with everything. Ano? Especially the Filipino. Buti hindi ka na tukso rin na magmodel dito, kasi ang dami ring mga mga Filipino na na talagang they they who grew up abroad but try to make it here. Well, when I came here, it was more for like helping my brother to learn English, and then it was my necessity because after what happened in New York. Let's say I, mm -hmm. I needed to like calm down a little bit my mind and everything, and I felt here it was the right place where to move. And uh, yeah, well, it, it's always like for me, I always do the best in my job. So I feel that if you do your best, then somebody's gonna recognize it, and hopefully something it would grow is as well in here. But uh, then I don't know, like I felt like moving back to New York. Mm -hmm. and then, but I really miss the lifestyle here and the people. Oh, that's so nice. Um, let's talk about the, the movement that you've been very active about. Uh, you, you do talks. Yeah, I do talk uh, in, in New York. I have uh, also my podcast that is called In Our Words. Mm -hmm. I teamed up with Univision, that is a network that is good. In, uh -huh. in, in America. And uh, I'm, I'm, having my, I'm letting my voice out. I'm trying to inspire others to not be uh, scared of speaking out in different situations. It's a very hot topic again in America right now, right? Yes. Because of what's happening uh, in there. In th there, And we know back then you were the first one to break your silence. It's an ongoing case. You can search it online. But we can't talk about it because it's in court. Yes, but yes. let's let's talk about how you felt after that. Everyone was so moved with the movement, Me Too, Mo Me Too movement. After you spoke your truth. Yeah, three years ago, I was the first one, and I was alone, and a lot of people didn't believe me. And Why? Who was the one th that you first said it to? Um, well, I went straight away to the police. So, uh -huh. yeah, I mean, a lot of people now knows, but back then, they didn't. Mm -hmm. And the media especially attacked me a lot because they wanted to like take me Because that was down. three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. And then like suddenly a year ago, a lot of women came out and spoke about their experiences and they evaluated my, my, my voice. And, and my life completely changed again. At the time, three years ago, I mean, I had a lot of people around me that didn't want to even speak to me. Or what? They were afraid of me. I lost a lot of work and after a few months, I moved. That's why I came here in the Philippines to try to feel better because at the time it was very hard. Oh my gosh! And how did you recover? Well, I first of all had my brother, so I focused a lot in helping him to grow himself and to like focus on other things that were in my life. You know, like I tried to understand what matter in, in my life. I had my mom, I had my brother, and I found a lot of beautiful people here, friends that are like family. And, and then I also worked in different charities, has uh, like human LED that helps uh, orphan, orphan children. Mm -hmm. So I felt lucky that, you know, I still had possibilities in my life. And so I kept going. I never, um, yeah, back down. And That's really good. And how is work coming along for you right now? Now is, is amazing. I mean, I'm, try, I'm, I'm getting back so much that I lost in those three years. As I was saying, I have my own podcast. I worked for, for Victoria's Secret. I'm like every week working and it, it's something that, you know, it was happening before 
those three years that thing happened before that, but then now it's coming back and even more. Like they, that's good. Yeah, because I'm a very hard worker. So. Uh huh. And what can you tell us about the ongoing case that is safe to share? Well, uh, I can say that there is a lot of women still speaking out. Yes, it's a developing story it's still. Developing, and I have a very positive um, hope that something is gonna is gonna change. I just saw with the Bill Cosby um, case, you know, he's going to jail. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, something is really having a shift in, in this situation. You were the ones to speak out your truth. What can you tell about the women who are still quiet right now and are, are on the verge of, you know, telling what they want to say, what happened to them? I, I respect them because I understand what means feeling scared. But at the time I was moved by thinking that something like that uh, should not be happening to someone else. So I, I decided to... Uh, think of my career or helping someone else and I wanted to like change something so I said if this is what happened to me maybe there is a meaning so why not following this and trying mm -hmm. to like see if I can do a change in this that's really good and okay dahil dyan napakalalim na mga pinag-uusapan natin no, konting light lang naman so <laughs> pag-usapan naman natin uh, so nagtatagalog kayo sa bahay niyo uh, not really. I learned listening because my mom was speaking in Italian a lot, but I was always curious about Did your mom grow up in Italy as well? Or she did she? She grew up here. Okay. Yeah, she moved when she was 19. Ah, okay, bata pa rin. Yes. But I was always um, curious about learning languages. I also learned, um, learned English by myself. Mm. And I moved to London. So it's like, um, I tried a lot of karaoke. Ah, yeah, this is karaoke ka pala na tuto mag Filipino. Alam mo, very ano talaga. Ano kinakanta mo? Well, <laughs> there's this song that is from uh, the uh, ages. Oh my god, I love it. Sample. Can you give us a sample? What? Uh, it's uh, Eto ako. Basang basa sa ula. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, I tried those simple songs and they were coming out good, so <laughs> I, I kept going and hopefully right now I'll try to like speak more Tagalog because, uh -oh. I mean, it, it's something I really want to learn. Wow, okay. At dahil dyan, meron tayong mga Pinoy Tongue Twister Challenge para sa'yo, i-intro ko na. So bubuksan mo siya at pagalingan, dapat okay. galingan mo na big kasi ng Tongue Twisters na yan. One? Yeah. Okay. All. Yeah, yeah, choose all, but oh. we're going to challenge you to read it. Yes. All of them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or maybe three. Fine, three. Yeah, yeah with my jet leg, I'm going to have okay. a huge three. nosebleed. <laughs> okay. Show it. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I, will, I will try. I'll do my best. I mean, yeah. is this even a word? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Nagprito ng... Pitumputong puto ang pimipitong puting pato. Ang galing nga. Alam mo, ang galing nga. You're very good with your jet lag. Okay. Okay, next. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Is this about a mechanic? Yes. Mi mecánico ng mecánico ni Monico ang makina ng minika ni Monica. Yes, alam mo, she's very good. Okay, last but not the least, because we're be very forgiving today because of your jet lag. <laughs> I would practice more. I will take this home. <laughs> yeah, for your brother. Yeah, maybe. Oh, this is the same. Nakrito. Oh, yes, get another one. Oh. Okay. Bumili ako ng bituka ang butiki sa botika. Wow, she's very good. You know how to read Filipino because um, usually Italian is very like this. Yes, like yes, you, yes. 
uh, speak the same um, intonations, etc. Exactly. Yes, <laughs> that's why it's easy for you. So we want to get to know you a bit more. And ah, okay. Yeah. So we also have this. Ayun yung tanong ko na lang directly, di ba? Ito talaga. So these are the questions that you have to answer. Okay. These are fill in the blanks. So please show the screen because the audience will see All you. Of this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if I would visit an exotic place, it would be. Um, I never been to Palawan yet. I know I'm so bad. Yeah. I was living here a year and a half, but I had never had time. But I feel that that would be amazing. Where did you go then? Um, I've been to Boracay, um, up north to La Union. Yes. And I experienced um, surfing there. Nice. And you don't have a boyfriend here? No, 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 no. Wow, you never not, had one? Not anywhere. <laughs> not anywhere. Why? Because I am very focused on, on work. work. Yes, <laughs> okay. Yeah, right now, so. Yeah, sorry, boys. <laughs> Maybe soon. <laughs> Who knows? Why not? Um, oh, what is this? Oh, oh that's sorry. the, yeah, these are um, the questions. Please. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, this is easy. If not a model, I would be. A non-profit organizer. Nice, you can do that right now. You're so you're a part of it already. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. Yeah. I could try and see what happened. Like, hopefully, yeah, it would be good for women's rights and movement for the Philippines. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. And if I have a special power, that would be. Maybe flying. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I grew up with watching Darna. So <laughs> I feel I that, love it. Like, it. It's something like that could be interesting. Yeah, you can play Darna. Why not? Yeah, well, I'm not a very good actress, but <laughs> yeah, maybe one day. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Next question. Okay. If I could go back in time. What would it be the first day I came here to the Philippines? Why? Because it um, really felt like I opened up a part of myself that, Ooh, yeah, that you never I, knew. I, I need, uh, yeah, because in Italy it was very different. Um, yes. So I Where in Italy? I was born in Torino. Oh. And it's close to Milan. Yes. And I always felt different. So I was like, Okay. Why maybe. are you watching Darna and the others aren't? No. <laughs> a part of that, like, I was always feeling like, I don't know, like, playful, like, uh -huh. you know, the, the kind of, like, Filipino spirit. Yes, and, yes. And then I found out that it's because I'm from here. And yes. <laughs> and I, I was really happy. Oh, that's so nice. That's so yeah. sweet. And last but not the least. Perfect. If there are only two persons left in the world, that would be you and, um, well, I cannot live without my brother, so. Aww, yeah. that's so nice. Are you twins or something? Uh, we look a lot alike. Okay. <laughs> but he's like three years younger. And you know, when you like growing up with a family of three, he was like my, my rock always. Where, where's your sister? Or brother. My brother. Uh, my brother oh, you're is, three, right? No, no, no. It's just my oh, brother. yeah. Mom, you, and your brother. Yes. Okay, got it. Uh, my brother right now is in Italy, but he lived here for two years as well. And um, yeah, uh, soon he'll be back. I just need to do like some documentation, documents, and stuff that he needs. But yeah. That is so here. nice. And please promote again your upcoming projects, your stay here in the Philippines. Up to when will you be here? Can fans meet you? Where can they meet you? Uh, yeah, I'll be here till my uh, job asks me to go back. <laughs> Hopefully not so fast. But um, yeah, I mean, my, my podcast is called In Our Words and you can find it in Apple Podcast. You can download it and you can listen for different stories of strength that could inspire others to go on through bad experiences. And there is also a little interview of like my life, how it was since I was a kid to, to now. And maybe you're going to like it, hopefully. 
what what are your tips before we let you go? What tips can you give women out there to be as courageous as you are? Well, think that you're doing something good for the others. You could be part of changing the future. So if you think like that, it's like a strength coming from within that you didn't know you had, but it, it's there. So hopefully think that you could save someone else and you could be a hero. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ambra. Uh, where can we follow you on social media, by the way? Uh, yeah, I have Instagram, Twitter. It's like the same thing that everybody has. And it's Ambra B. Gutierrez. Okay, good. And all of them. So, well, what does B stand for? It's my Italian surname. Oh, okay. What's your, what's your Italian surname? Uh, Batilana. Batilana. Yeah. All right. So, ayun mga kapatid, may replay po ito sa www.news5.com.ph at syempre sa aming YouTube ang hashtag Newsroom 5 Live, News 5 Features Facebook page. Yung bits and pieces ito, ilalagay po namin sa News 5 Features sa Instagram account. So, do watch out for that yung IGTV na natin. Ako po si MJ Marfori. Thank you so much again, Ambra, for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this at marami kayo natutunan at ishare nyo po ito no, sa ating mga kapatid. We love you guys. Ta-ta! Thank you.